Hey everybody, G Bear here. I'm out in the desert, 4th of July, and uh, it finally got a calm day. It's been windy as heck since I got out here. Every day the wind's been blowing. I have it gusts up to 35 miles an hour out here. It's kind of irritating because I can't do much. Um, I try to set up my table to do some experiments and the wind is blowing things off the table, things like that. So uh, right now I'm sitting in the shade on the north side of my van. I made myself a little temporary work table here. And you can see some stuff out in front of you. Look, look at this, another use for beer, uh, aluminum beer cans in the desert. I needed a wet sponge for cleaning off my soldering tip because I was working on my little uh, electri electricity catcher here. And uh, I was soldering this, and I wanted to clean my tip, so I set up a sponge inside of there with a little water. Uh, so I got a damp sponge. And what I did was I cut this like the old cereal boxes. Um, they used to get those little self-serve or single-serve cereal boxes and uh, I made myself a little sponge holder so I can keep some water in the bottom of it and keep the sponge moist and as hot as it is out here it needs to stay moist anyway here's my uh, my little um, soldering iron and uh, this is a battery unit it uses four AA batteries these are really good ones the uh, Weller um, I want to show you, I bought this other one uh, cold, called Cold Heat, and uh, I never really liked this one. Uh, the reason is, is that it uses a ceramic tip, and look at how wide that tip is. It's got a little um, V cut in it. That's supposed to probably make things easier. I just can't get used to it. I'm too much of an old school guy. Um, I might use it someday. They give you a little roll of solder here with it. I uh, don't know if I'll ever use that. But uh, I really like this uh, this one here. It's uh, very simple to use. All you do is choose low heat or high heat here. You turn it on and you'll see a little light right there. When you press on the button, the light comes on. That's starting the heat right now. So that's a low heat soldering iron right there. And, and if I want to go up to high heat, I go up there and I get a red light. And that's high heat. Uh, sometimes you, you don't want to use high heat, especially when you're working with diodes and things like that, because you could damage them with the extra heat. But uh, you could also use a heat diffuser clip. Um, I can't, kind of like using just a, a little alligator clip. And... Uh, you can put that in between your diode and your soldering joint so that you can let this thing absorb the heat instead of it running to the diode. I'm going to be using that alligator clip in a little while to show you something that I've discovered out here. Here's my little diagram I, I wrote, uh, kind of scribbled it down. Um, when I was sitting at uh, my desk at home, I said, well, I wonder what would happen if I put this together. And this is what they call, I think it's um, uh, uh, a Tesla uh, circuit. Uh, whether or not it is or not, uh, I can't tell you. What I can tell you is this is the idea I came up with and then I found it on the internet and it's already been uh, utilized. Uh, I made a few changes to it. And you can see that right here in front of you. And you see my little alligator clip on there right now with a red wire. The reason for that is that's a piece of copper wire. And let me swing this around. It runs across over there. And then it runs up onto a piece of string dangling from my barbecue. I didn't want it to make contact with anything. Uh, I just wanted to hold it out into the air so that uh, I could see if I could collect any electricity. So let me get back down here to the workstation and let's show you what I've got come up with here. All right, here's my trusty little voltmeter and we're gonna turn that on. And you'll notice that I'm getting two volts or two, two hundredths of a volt. Um, that happened because I had this sitting out in, in the sun and it gathered up some heat and the heat was actually generating electricity. All I had to do was grab a hold of the two um, uh, probes, the two alligator clips, and absorb the electricity that was in it for a little while, then it went back to zero. So anyway, here's my circuit. I want to make sure that we can see that. I set my 
uh, a voltmeter up like that. So what I have here is four capacitors and uh, those capacitors are uh, rated at uh, one kilovolt each. Um, why I chose those is because they were the cheapest. That's the only reason. Now I notice that my I'm coming out of the center between them. Now, the flow of electricity is in this direction. These little diodes here, the negatives are on the striped side of the diode. And let me see if I can zoom in for you on that. Um, I don't know if it's going to be able to you'll be able to see that. But uh, there's a little stripe on the on the diode and that's the negative side of the diode and that'll only let electricity flow in one direction so you notice I've got them all on the same side there's four diodes in here and then I've got two more capacitors down here at the bottom and these two capacitors at the bottom are uh, are rated uh, 16 volts 220 microfarads okay so We've got the uh, the electricity flow is going to be running in this direction, and I was asked why it was shunted in the middle here. It's not really shunted. What I'm doing is I'm trying to take all the electricity, keep it flowing in the same direction, and anything that produces more electricity, I want it to send it back into my circuit and bring it out. So this will be my positive pole here on this side, and this will be my negative pole on this side. All right? So let me connect up the voltmeter to this, and this is just with one piece of wire connected to it. There's the negative probe, and there's the positive probe. Come on. Oh, look at that, we only got 0.11. Okay, and that's not much. Now, at, at one given point on the internet, they were talking about coming off of the center here and going to ground. So I have a ground rod driven right there. It's just a couple of feet deep. And I did that. I went to ground. And guess what? It doesn't make any difference. Okay? So you'll notice that it's going to keep dropping in voltage as it sits here. All right? Now I want to show you something that I discovered. These little capacitors right here. Um, I got these over at my, uh, my good friend's electronic store. I like this one, 34 volts, 470 microfarads, okay? And you see that it's showing the positive is on this, uh, the negative is on this side, positive is on this side. So I'm going to come off of my positive pole on this side, and I'm going to use this little alligator clip to clip that into place onto the end here and make contact. All right, and now we're gonna take a voltmeter and we're gonna go off of, we're gonna go off of this, this end of it. And look at that, half a volt. <laughs> Just putting that capacitor in there, I've jumped it up from, point zero five. Excuse me while I get this connected again. Oh, I'm not making good contact there. I will end up uh, soldering this into position, but I just wanted to show you with it and without it. Okay, here we go again. I'm going to make my contact and 0.45 and you notice it's dropping and that's uh, that, that's probably because I, I'm connect collecting ions out of the air using that copper wire and uh, it's storing it, its electricity in my capacitors but I'm, I'm using it up while I've got my voltmeter connected to it so um, what happens is that uh, I'm going to keep dropping voltage to dropping voltage as long as I do that. So I've got a couple other things I want to try on this. I got my aluminum wire here and I was wondering what was going to happen if I put aluminum wire um, at different locations on there. And I guess it doesn't really make any difference. Uh, and we're down almost to a quarter volt now. So I'm going to let this sit out in the sun for a while and uh, 
do a few more experiments with it and see what I could do. Um, let's see what, I, what kind of results I'm going to get out of this. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you. Talk to you later. Hey, you know what? It's a holiday. It's lunchtime. Time for a beer.